Redmi K80 Pro launched today is a flagship phone that will be released in globally as the Poco F7 Pro. It features a fast refresh rate 2K OLED display, a flagship processor, an ultrasonic fingerprint sensor, IP69 dust and water resistance, fast wireless charging, and more. Today, I'll share the unboxing and first impressions of the Redmi K80 Pro. Hey guys, this is Mikey from TechMakey. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to turn on notifications for more awesome tech videos. Let's start with the unboxing. Here's the Redmi K80 Pro box. First, we cut the plastic wrapping and open the lid. Inside the box, we get a Type-C to A cable and a 120 watt power adapter. Now, let's talk about the design of the Redmi K80 Pro. This is the Redmi K80 Pro launched today, and it's in black. The back of the phone has a two-tone design. The camera module area is shiny, while the bottom area has an AG glass finish with a matte texture. The design looks similar to Xiaomi's Civi series, giving the Redmi K series a flagship design. Globally, Redmi's K series is launched under the Poco F series name. This phone will launch globally as the Poco F7 Pro. Looking at the camera module design, it has a texture that reminds you of a classic watch. For the design, the top of the phone is now flat. You might wonder where the infrared IR port is. This time, the IR blaster is built into the camera module. The LED flash is placed to the right of the camera module. One major change here is the Redmi logo. Previously, it was written in small letters, but now it's in capital letters. The phone comes with a metal frame, but this time it has a matte finish instead of the glossy frame we saw on the K70 Pro. This means you won't see fingerprint smudges on the frame. When comparing the designs of the K70 Pro and K80 Pro, they are almost identical, except for changes in the camera module design. So which phone design do you like better? Let me know in the comments. Personally, I prefer the design of the K70 Pro. Now, talking about the display, the K80 Pro features a 6.67-inch OLED display with a 2K resolution. It uses M9 luminescent material, which is an upgrade compared to the previous generation, the K70 Pro. The K80 Pro's display offers improved brightness with a global brightness of up to 1800 nits. This means you'll get better visibility outdoors compared to the K70 Pro, making it easier to see under sunlight. Like the Xiaomi 15, the K80 Pro's screen also has narrow bezels, offering a great daily use experience. The display provides good colors and viewing angles. The phone also includes a DC dimming feature and comes with an ultrasonic fingerprint sensor, something rarely seen in this price range. You can easily unlock the phone even with wet hands, and the fingerprint sensor works perfectly at night too. However, there's one drawback. The punch hole on the K80 Pro is slightly larger compared to the K70 Pro, which might be a bit disappointing. Now, talking about performance, the Redmi K80 Pro is powered by the flagship Snapdragon 8 Elite chipset. It also comes with a D1 independent display chip designed for gaming. This time, you get Rage Engine 4.0 for an enhanced gaming experience. When you swipe inside from the left during gaming, the game toolbox interface opens. Here, you can see the current game's frame rate and adjust settings to improve game performance directly. Let's look at the gaming test to see the phone's actual performance. Playing Genshin Impact for 60 minutes at the highest settings, the phone achieves an average frame rate of 59.9 with a nearly stable frame rate graph. The average power consumption is only 4.28 watts, and no major frame drop issues are observed during gaming. The maximum body temperature reaches 40.9 degrees Celsius, but the phone doesn't feel too hot to hold. Now, let's talk about the camera on the Redmi K80 Pro. It has a rear-facing triple camera setup. The main camera is 50 megapixels with a 1.1.55-inch sensor size and comes with optical image stabilization, OIS. The 50 megapixel telephoto camera uses Samsung's JN5 sensor, also with OIS. The third camera is a 32 megapixel ultra wide camera. You can see some sample photos here.
Overall, compared to the K70 Pro, the K80 Pro shows noticeable improvements in camera performance. Now, let's talk about the battery and charging on the K80 Pro. It comes with a 6,000 milliamp hour battery featuring new technology. You can see the results of a four hour endurance test where 75% of the battery remains. In comparison, the 5,000 milliamp hour battery of the K70 Pro only has 61% remaining after the same test, showing an improvement in battery life. For charging, the phone supports 120 watt wired charging, and this time it also offers 50 watt wireless charging. One of the bi biggest features is that the K80 Pro has an IP69 and IP68 waterproof and dustproof rating, meaning you can submerge the phone in 2.5 meters of water. The phone runs on HyperOS 2.0, which is based on Android 15. Compared to HyperOS 1, the new new HyperOS 2 offers smoother and more complete animations. The changes aren't just in the control center. You can now drag and move app windows and also resize them. Even when unlocking the phone, the animations are smoother compared to the K70 Pro. In the control center, if you hold the brightness or volume, a secondary menu option opens. You also get the AI live wallpaper feature. You can also convert still photos into dynamic videos. I hope in the future, we'll see support for more subjects with AI dynamic video. However, there are no changes in the home screen layout. In HyperOS 2, the size of widgets has been made more compact. Overall, the system experience is much better compared to HyperOS 1. As for the price of the Redmi K80 Pro, the base variant starts at 3699 Chinese Yuan in China, which is approximately around 400 pounds, and in the USA, it's $511. In conclusion, Redmi's K series and Poco's F series are known for being affordable and high performance. The K80 Pro continues this trend with flagship level configurations. This time, it adds features like IP69 waterproof rating and wireless charging. The display is flat and 2K, making it great for gaming, and it has a flagship processor along with a large battery and good battery life. If you're looking for a high-performance phone at a mid-range price, you can consider the Redmi K80 Pro or Poco F7 Pro. However, one thing to note is that the camera performance isn't at flagship level, it's above average. Also, compared to the K60, the design isn't as eye-catching. But the price is the biggest factor, as you get top performance at this price. So, what do you think about the Redmi K80 Pro? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Lastly, subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. Thanks for watching, have a great day, keep smiling, and I'll see you in the next video.